Welcome back to Rodfather Garage. I'm back out in the garage today uh, again working on my port work on these E7 heads off of my Factory 5 Cobra. Uh, today I'm going to be marking the intake and exhaust ports and starting on the grinding to port match these heads and uh, eventually we'll, we'll get them back on the car and find out how much more horsepower I can make with just some simple tools and time here in my garage. Okay, we've got our cylinder heads set up here and we're gonna start by marking the intake ports where we're gonna gasket match. So this is the gasket that I intend to use. This is a Felpro 90361. I may not end up using this particular gasket, but I'll use one with this part number. And I'll probably mark on the head or in my notes somewhere that this is the right head gasket to match these heads. So uh, these heads might end up on my other car one day and I'll want to know that this is the right gasket to use to this because they're all matched. So it's marked head side, so we'll put head side down. The nice thing about these Ford gaskets is they have this little ledge here and this little hook that locks into the head gasket. So they're fairly easy to line up. But I'm going to use the marks around these other ports that I intentionally didn't clean up yet, clean up around the intake ports because I'm going to mark those. So I'm going to line those up like that. I'm going to put a couple of bolts in and give myself every opportunity to get this right. I could just hold this with my hand. There's a chance it's going to slide around and I'm going to lose it. So I'm not taking chances if I don't have to. And I'll put a little masking tape on to see it's dropped down here. This will locate it a little bit, but I'm going to line that up right like that. That's where the gasket sat before, and it was the same gasket as I'm using that was originally on this engine. And I can also tell by the paint line that's under here where the top of that gasket was. Okay, so that looks good. Nope, it needs to move over a little bit. Right there. Happy with that. So I'm first gonna use a Sharpie. There's other ways you can do this, but this is what I got and it's working. So first I'm gonna mark here. Again, I wanna make this as easy on myself as possible. So red is gonna stand out for me. I could use any color, but I have a red Sharpie and red's gonna be real easy to see when I start grinding. So you can see on these heads, it's pretty good. I have seen heads where the port's nowhere near where it is on the gasket and it needs huge amounts of work. These ones aren't too bad, but they're really quite rough inside. Um, like you, can, you can hear my marker kind of skipping along there. So I don't have huge amounts of material I'm going to have to remove, which is nice. But I'm going to make it a much more smoother transition. Now, next I'm going to take this scribe and mark this again. Because as I work, I may rub off my uh, red Sharpie there. And with these, um, because this is angled, if you hold it on an angle, you can draw a line that's straight down with the gasket. If you hold it up like that, uh, it's gonna rub on the gasket farther up and you're not gonna get the line all the way into the corner. So, which is good if you want um, clearance, for example. In this case, I don't want clearance. Okay. 
So those are marked. It'll be very easy to see what I need to grind off. So I now need to spend many hours uh, grinding and sanding with little sanding cones. Most of the little guys like this, right? Because I don't want to take off huge amounts of material. I don't want to grind in the water jacket. I don't want to grind into um, where the push rod goes through. There's a hole right there. But after many hours of grinding, this is going to match this pretty close to perfectly. Okay, so next I'm going to mark out the exhaust side. Um, so this isn't a stock exhaust gasket. Normally, almost every time you're going to want to use the gasket to match that you're going to use when you put the engine together. In this case, this car has really big headers, bigger than this engine needs, but they look cool and it's a Cobra, so I gotta have those. So the gasket that I'm actually gonna use is not this one, but these heads may later end up on a Mustang that I own that will have stock exhaust on it. So I'm gonna use this gasket sort of to future proof for that. And I'll line it up with a few bolts. So I've got that all lined up. This is where this gasket will be when the engine's assembled. So I'm gonna mark with my Sharpie. Right into the corners there. And then I'll take my scribe and make a scribe mark around these in case um, I accidentally rub off that red part. If you spray like brake clean or WD-40 or something on this, uh, it'll take that Sharpie off and then you'll have to go back and remark these. There is actually machinist marking compound you can use for that. I don't have any, so I'm using a Sharpie today. Okay, so we're all marked out and ready to start grinding. Uh, the next probably 20 hours is gonna be me sitting in this chair with the grinder and safety glasses and hearing protection on and probably a mask because I don't think I want to inhale all this stuff. Um, but I'll post a video once the port work is all done and show you what I've accomplished. And later we'll have a video of the car on the track, I hope, uh, hopefully running a lot faster. So if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, uh, look for more videos on me porting on these heads and other work on this car. So the next video will be the combustion chamber work I'm gonna do and the bowl work on these heads. So look for that on a future video here on Rod Father Garage.